Grandma was out and about today. I um, went to up on the hill of Bistai, that they say it, Bistai. And I was there. Um, Will Gonzalez was here, and he uh, wanted some Navajo tea. So we went foraging and found uh, some on the roadside. Is but and I told him, make sure you wash it and you do take, uh, you know, prepare it. Two people were walking by, and it was interesting because they were like, "Hey, I've heard your voice somewhere." And then I, they're like, "Are you Navajo Grandma?" I said, "Yes, I am." And so they had been watching Grandma, and they worked for Nappy. Grandpa gave uh, one of the uh, cards, and a, not just a card, but also buttons to them, and they were so happy. So they actually went, we had a nice conversation, and then they went back and told the another person, I guess because they were wearing the button, and the person said, oh my gosh, I want one of those buttons. I want to... Uh, I'm supporting uh, Navajo Grandma and Frankie Davis. So he thundered down in his car, and uh, um, he gave me one of his cards. And so we had a nice time talking. He said where we could pick, you know, Navajo tea in a different spot. So we went to that place south of Nappy. Then um, as we were picking... That guy came again, he followed us, and he said, hey, I forgot, I want one of your buttons. And so we did give him a button. He was all happy, he put it on, and he was he was content. And he says, "I," he says, you know, I really like your platform. And so he was so happy, he, he took off, he told us where, you know, he was very nice. As we were picking, as Will and I were picking Navajo tea, then another guy comes over, and he's from the fire department. His name is Eric, and he's the, he's the one that showed us around. And he's he was such a he has a wonderful personality. And so, anyways, um, he said, "Hey, you guys are picking Navajo tea. Uh, you can't pick it without giving us some." And it was kind of funny. We had a we had a fun conversation with him. And then he we talked about my platform. And that's where I was telling him, you know, it's really sad. I was telling him the Navajo Times, uh, NTU, um, and the people who are moderators are actually the ones who are picking your Navajo Nation president. And it's sad. And they're making sure that you are picking one of their top choices. And that's exactly happened. what happened in Crown Point um, and... We were put in groups, and the top, uh, I think, I can't remember, three or four, and then the second group had Nez, the President Nez in there and some others, and I was in the third group. It was like, you're in the crap group, and so anyways, so it was kind of a, it was weird that they did that. I think it was really wrong. Um because they say people matter, and then they put them in groups of, you are better, this is the better group, you're the mediocre, you're the the bottom of the barrel. And so, that is the truth. What, what happened was, before I went in, and I was checking in, this woman said, now we don't want you to make any noise, we don't want you to do this, we don't want you to do that. And then the moderator actually re repeated that. She goes, now you have to make sure you do, don't do what you do in, uh, you know, in other places. And I thought, holy cow. I said, do you, are you guys telling this to everybody? She goes, no, because you're the one that's being, you know, uh, whatever. I mean, well, she might as well have said, you're the one that's telling the truth and we don't like it. And I'm kind of like, you know, with the threats that they gave me, I just... You know, I, I wasn't really myself, but um, now I see what they're doing. And tonight is the educational one. And you know what? I told Eric, who is the fireman, I said, you know what? Uh, if Grandma gets thrown out of the forum, then so let it be. Because these guys can't keep doing and controlling each forum. And they say they're helping us, but they're giving us two minutes or one minute. And um, they, they set you up. It's really sad. 
So anyways, that's what's going on. And Eric was saying, you know what? What we love about you is that you tell the truth. And because we're not getting the truth. All we see is all the other 14 saying the same thing over and over. We're going to find ourselves in the very same thing. And I told him, yes, you are so right. So there's a lot of people who actually are hearing. And uh, I told them, I said, then he uh, had me speak with the chief and various other fire department people. They were having a meeting. And so... I just told them the truth. I gave them my platform and I said, you guys deserve $50 an hour. And you and the police officers and the educators. And I explained to him what happened in Japan where I was there five days and I ended up with $50,000. And I said, I think you guys made a mistake. Uh, and the gentleman, you know, I had to go back to the 80th floor to to ask about my check. I was, I said, this, this, I've only been here five days. <clears throat> well, the Japanese gentleman said to me, um, why are you refusing this? And I said, because there's too many zeros. I've only been here for five days. Then he proceeded to tell me how important sensei or teachers are and that they deserve and they are always paid more than the parliamental uh, the prime minister. So I was rather shocked. And yes, I, I said, okay, here we go. I'm fine. I'm fine with it. But, you know, it it's a lot of money. And they said, of course, because you mold the minds of people. And it is an honor. And we we do honor you. And you should get paid the most. So that in itself is kind of where this was born. And I thought that should be the same way in the United States, even so on the Navajo Nation. So that's my goal. I told the chief, you guys deserve, you deserve more than, I said, value yourself. You do deserve more. I mean, they're getting paid $13 an hour. Come on now. They're... You know, they, you're basically giving your life like a police officer. And then they have to be in, you know, if there's a fire, the, I mean, they have to go so far. And I said, well, if you have to go as far as you're telling me, the house would have been burnt down by the time you get there. And he said, in essence, that's almost true. You know, we, they spread themselves all over because there's so few um, who want to serve and help the Navajo Nation as far as being a fire fireman. Anyways, we got a grand tour on one of their trucks. It was so, I was shocked and had a really nice conversation. And we, it was more than I could have ever asked for. Eric was basically the one, uh, sorry, grandma's doing this. Hello. Um, this is a sad introductory, but I'm trying to get ready for the uh, Gallup Educational um, Forum. And so, Eric, this is not the best. I mean, I think this is might be fuzzy. But irregardless, I'm so impressed with uh, this fire department. And um, I can't remember. is Oho something and... Eric's going to have to, I'm going to have to find out. So it, it's wonderful. This is all I'm going to say. Uh, we need to wake up Navajo Nation. Uh, Navajo Grandma has the answer. The others don't have, the, the, I told them that when you wake up the day after that you find out one of the others become president, you're going to be in the same bed, the same mess, the same poverty you were in, in that you were told you were going to get out of by the same person and how they were going to make change. Come on now. There is no money in the Navajo Nation. There is no GDP. There is no nothing. Where in the heck are these 14 going to get the money? Nowhere. And uh, and my, my, my platform is where we are going to use our natural resources. We have, we're walking on trillions and trillions of dollars. And it's sad that people do not understand and, or they refuse to understand 
So that's another reason why I tell them, take off your jewelry. Give me your cars because number one, jewelry, the stones you have are natural resources, as well as there's oil and gas that makes your car run. And I said, go ahead, improve your climate change, which is a bunch of hogwash, and run home, jog home, and or get a wagon, have Nez buy you a wagon, and, and um, have your horse, and enjoy it while I drive your truck. I do need a truck. So therefore, uh, do you think they listen? No. They continue to have the biggest cars, the biggest gas guzzlers, and hate oil and gas ex ex excavation. How sick and weird and stupid is that? It is absolutely stupidity. So um, this is what's going on. People threatening me and whatnot. Uh, it's sad. Only because they don't want the truth. They want to vote for their son, their uncle, their friend. They want power, greed, and control. There's nothing else that they want. Another notch in their belt. Oh, because I have a PhD, because I'm a doctor, because I'm what? Uh, I have a CA, I got a hair bun, a Navajo hair bun, or because I speak perfect English. I mean, perfect Navajo. It is sad what the Navajo Nation, these candidates, really run on. It's nothing for you, it's for themselves. So I hope you understand that. This is pure truth. You can hate me for saying this, but it is pure truth. Because wherewith are they going to have the money to take care of you? It's the same old, same old, same old thing. You know what? Grandma on the other side, uh, Frankie Davis, my platform is nothing like theirs. And they will not face the truth. Um, so hopefully... You know, I tell people I have a chance in hell because of, you know, the way they treat me and the way they are. Because they want their uncle, they want the PhD, they think they talk better and whatnot. They don't look at the facts and understand. They don't do research. They're too busy hoping, uh, again, for, you know, to make sure that they have a name out there. Not because you're important, you Navajo people. And hopefully, maybe uh, God will help Grandma and, uh, and Frankie Davis to be able to finally help and serve and bless you with the things you stand in need of, truly. So here's the rest of the video. I'm happy to report that uh, a lot of people hate Grandma right now. But... And there's a reason, because Grandma speaks the truth, and because Frankie Davis is honest and truthful. That's what they do to people who are honest and truthful. So here we go. We're going to have a ride on a cool uh, truck, fire truck, with Eric. He is so cool. is a fireman and he took us on this this uh ride this is so cool you guys and they are so oh my god <laughs> oh my word there's grandpa grandpa's sitting in the car and there's eric in there and there's one of my subscribers and he is will gonzalez he came to visit grandma and look at this this is the navajo nation e25 navajo nation fire department they are so and taken care of. I just said my spill to the chief and all of the different people because I'm running for Navajo Nation president and they these guys get $13 an hour. He said we could go over the hill to Farmington and get paid $10 more an hour but because they know the Navajo Nation needs their you know what they do that they uh, they give their time and and they go for low pay. It is so sad. And then they have this area, I mean, the square mileage, it's ridiculous. I said, by the time you get there, you, the house would have burnt down. And he said, that's right. And there's only two people here. And here is, over here behind us is the station. And I will take you there, but we're gonna interview Eric. He is so cute. 
he just came over, walked over because we were picking Navajo tea right here and it is so cool. But he took us, this is a treat and let me go in and we're gonna see, we're gonna go say hi and grandma's go open this, look at this big, look at this big door. And there is Will, Will Gonzalez here. Gotta go. Okay. There's Will, remember him? Hi everyone. And there's there's the little ones and all my little grandchildren. And this is Grandpa. Grandpa say hi. Hi. And here's this big truck we are in and guess what? I'm gonna sit right here and interview this guy. Who is this? This is Eric. Now Eric, while you're driving, tell us about yourself. So um Eric Treviso, I'm a Navajo Nation firefighter. I've been doing it for about seven years, Navajo Nation, but been a firefighter my entire life. I love my job working for Navajo Nation and enjoy it. Hope uh, I wish everybody well. Thank you. Well, why did you come and find Navajo? How come, how, how come you found Frankie hey. Davis? Or Navajo Grandma, one or the other. Well, she was picking all the uh, Navajo tea by our fire station, so <laughs> I have to go say hi. <laughs> and uh, she decided to come visit our fire station, first one that come out. So we were glad to see that. We're always welcome anywhere. Really hurting for firefighters. So if you want to join a good team, join Navajo Nation Fire Department. Go online. We're under. Um, Navajo Nation workforce, and we're trying to hire firefighters. We could really use lots of firefighters. Come and work with your community. Come and work with uh, with your Navajo Nation. Come give something back. You guys will enjoy it. And, he, and what is this? This is his truck, and why is this worth what? This truck here is called Engine 25, and it was just brought in about a year ago and this one from what i understand fully loaded fully everything it's over a million two or three or even if we put everything in it it's worth a lot of money so come drive a nice fancy truck <laughs> once you become a firefighter this thing parks itself basically second here everybody's here and this is my Navajo grandma subscribers and again here is Eric and thank you for this it was such a treat and grandpa is his dull self not normal and so we're we're and, and I was able to talk with the chief and a bunch of people and I kind of said a lot of things that were very true and some of them probably uh, are worth fainting after I finish but uh, truth is truth so, love you guys. This is so fun. We'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye. Okay, now now start again. Now say it again. This is our utility truck. Okay. This one we use for any any transports or whatever we need. You can okay. get a our job brush at 140 trucks. miles an hour. Yeah. The brush trucks, oh. uh, we use them to fight brush fires. Oh, so the yeah. red one is. Yeah. yeah. Now the new ones in Flagstaff, it's getting oil change and all that right yeah. now. So they're, we're supposed to pick it up Friday. I'm waiting for my lieutenant to give us the okay. And then of course, I'll go show you our utility truck. Come on. So we're- and This is our fire station. Uh -huh. This is Ojo Fire Station 22. Ojo Fire Station 22. Yeah. And here's their equipment and stuff. We're getting a tour. How yeah. cool. This is all our hoses. Of course, we gotta have a lot of hoses. Uh, we gotta be ready to. We gotta be ready to go to any structure fire. All our SCBAs and everything. Uh, stuff. We're putting new stuff in. Oh, these We're are new things. New, uh, this is to fill our SCBAs. Yeah. We also gotta learn that and all that. So that's kind of like. A, um, oh, aren't you a Boy Scout? Come on now. I know. I know. I, I wish I. I wish I would have learned all that when I was a Boy Scout. How but cool. I was a Boy Scout. Yeah. And this is our rescue truck. This is Rescue 20. It actually belongs to Shiprock. This one we use for major emergencies, car accidents, and 
anything that we need to respond to. We wow. also do search and rescues. Wow. So we can take this one. Oh. Uh, heavy truck, so we we really have to watch them. And then I'll give you a tour of our office. Oh, we're going to the office now. Yeah. Boy, we're getting a major, major cool So right now, we're visit. taking all the old stuff. We go like Monday through Friday. We got things we got to do. So right now, we're taking all the old expired stuff. We change it. We put new ones in. Bro. And here is the, we're coming in to the fire station. So this is our fire station. This is where our meetings happen. Um, this is where firefighters can come kick back. We do have a workout room. Um, Where's your pool table? Ah, uh, no pool table. Just oh, a wow. workout room. This is we where- We do have a workout or wow. we try to work cool. out. Of course, we, we try to do entertainment in here. All our communications, and then this is where my lieutenant sits, and my lieutenants. So they're the ones who handle all the. We're things. taking a video. Uh, you don't want to be on. <laughs> this is YouTube. We're going to be on. So since he's shy, we won't. Uh... Yeah, he's always shy. He's a big <laughs> boss. No, he's my boss. You can. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah. So. We welcome you. Thank you for coming and saying hello. To oh us. yes. Well, thank you for coming, uh, telling us about the Navajo tea and stuff. Yes, That's cool. and do advertise it for us that we are hiring. We yeah. are needing firefighters, and you got a lot of followers. Yeah. I mean, they get. Um, if I understand right, they go to Window Rock for their academy. They go through our fire academy through our captain. Yeah. Um, and uh, they. It's how long is the fire academy? How much? Three months. Three months. Three months. Oh. Three months academy. Well, so that's you not. That's go worth it. A Navajo academy, so it's pretty neat. We yeah. really enjoy it. So. And when I become president, you will get get more money. Just well, think we'll about hold this. you accountable because I'll exactly. go back to this YouTube video <laughs> and I'll I'll record that. So I'll, I'll be at the. Eric's going to be at my front door, making sure that he plays this whenever, <laughs> if and when I ever. I tell people I have a chance in hell. You know why? Because everybody hates the truth and it's sad but you know what i say if anything happens it'll be because of god and that's how i feel and we need to save a lot of people we need to help everybody okay so we're gonna all say bye everybody say bye bye, bye. bye. and say what do you say to eric what do you say thank you thank you, thank you eric jeffrey what do you say <laughs> yeah, thank you, Eric. Thank You've been you so wonderful. Out this is you are so wonderful. No, it was because of you. You oh, are so awesome. Cool. Don't forget my tea now. Yeah, Eric is our family, a family member. <laughs> we are, it's okay, it's okay. So we're, they're going to go to the bathroom and they won't go. Oh, this is wonderful. Thank you so much. That was just the coolest oh, tour. And how lovely this See is. See what happens? We're stealing our teeth from a.